holiday weekend also marks one year since the sudden passing of Eva Kaur, a Holocaust survivor, activist, and longtime resident of Terre Haute. She also founded Candles Museum. Lindsay Jackson spoke with Kaur's family and members of the community who shared how they're keeping her legacy alive one year later. Eva Kaur passed away on July 4th while on an annual trip to Auschwitz in 2019. Her son Alex Kaur says the past year has been a challenge without his mother. You know, there's a lot of daily life activities, but in the greater sense, you know, I uh, miss my mom. And, um, you know, in probably the last 10, 15 years, I would either talk to my mom or text her every day, sometimes more than once per day. And that's usually that would occur late in the day, leaving work, I would text her, and that's the time that I probably miss her the most. Eva Kaur founded the Candles Holocaust Museum in Terre Haute in 1995, where she taught a message of forgiveness. Kaur says he will keep his mother's message alive in any way that he can by speaking about Eva's experience when given the chance. I think it's important that we, particularly in this day and age, that we don't forget the Holocaust, we don't forget what happened at the Holocaust, during the Holocaust, at Auschwitz, at the other camps. And more important than that, what lessons can we learn from those terrible experiences to help us out in the year 2020 and beyond? Peggy Grabowski is a local teacher and got to know Eva through the years between going on the annual trip and local events. She says her personality is one she'll never forget. I mean, she's just was like a feisty woman, but she had a heart of gold. And, you know, sometimes people, misunder people misunderstood her. But I mean, she, I mean, she just reached so many. And I, as a teacher, to see her impact the students in such a positive way, and that's what we want. We want those kind of citizens in, in, our, um, in our world. Grabowski says she encourages those in the community to learn more about Eva and her message. Like, I really wish that the community would, would go there more and know that there's so many wonderful wonderful programs there that are free and I, I wish that the community would do that especially in these times you know we're so divided as a nation that the candle museum is that place to, to go to learn with local news that matters i'm lindsey jackson wtwo so glad to see her legacy still living on alex core says he's working on an exhibit with the indiana historical society to honor his mother